everyone. So this is my new Showstoppers 3 collection. So you have a new double concertina gatefold Showstopper die set. You have a winged pop-up Showstopper die set. So this one will fold down to fit in a 5x7 envelope. This one will fold down to fit in a 6x6. Six six. So you will need a larger die cutting machine for this one. So these dies you can use with anything in your stash and they're a good all-rounder as well. And I will always kind of evolve them so I'll show you other ways to use them so check out my made to surprise channel where you'll see me sharing all of the cards that I've made for the samples you will be able to see the tutorials for those so I have been wanting to bring out a men's collection for a long time and finally it's here so you have a brand new 8x8 paper pad new sentiment sets three new stamp and die sets of different icons and two new embossing folders so this is your paper pad so it's an 8x8 pad you get four of six designs and it's 190 gsm and you can see all those wonderful designs along the front in fact i'll just show you an example of each one so you have this one here and again, this is going to be great for females as well. I know I'm at the moment in the middle of renovating my house and I'm yeah, pretty handy with a drill. You've then got this one here, which has got all of your beer bottles on it. You've got the headphones here. So I try to do it so that it will work across kind of all ages. You've got something for the teenagers as well as the adults. You've got this one here. You've got the sunglasses and then you've got the footballs. One of my favourite parts of this collection are these brand new stamp sets. So you've got all of your different titles there for male figures in your life. So hopefully there's something for everyone. You've got dad, boyfriend, mate, brother, husband, uncle, son, stepdad, godfather, father, cousin, stepson, great, grand, great. You've got granddad and then you've got partner. You've got in-law, fiancé and nephew. You can separate all of these as well. So you can make up other, you know, sentiments as well if you want to. So stepbrother, for example, you could have that one. Then you've got this one here. So you've got have a fab day, happy birthday, cheers, thank you. You did it, you rock, top bloke, cool dude and to a great guy. Again, lots of these are separate. So the A, the two, the great, the guy. Again, the fab, the day, have, so you can make other words up if you wish. And they're really easy to cut out. I wanted them to be all the same fonts, so they're easy for you to just use your trimmer and cut out. And then you've got these three new stamp and die sets. You've got sporting moments, you've got dress him up, and you've got hobbies galore. So again, I know there's probably going to be more, but I think I've covered the majority of um, kind of icons here that you could use. Hopefully there's something for everybody. Um, I've even got something for my dad in here. So I've got the kayaking or the life jacket and also the kayak and the orb. It could be a canoe if you wanted to. You've got a skateboard, the basketball and the hoop. You've got your, um, actually that's the kayak. This is the canoe. He'd tell me off otherwise if I get it wrong. You've got your rugby ball. You've got another oar. You've got cricket, cricket ball, fishing line. You've got a bag here, which has got your fishing hooks and stuff, but you could easily just get rid of those little details on the front and it could just be a nice backpack. Skis, steering wheel, football, car, boot, a fish. Um, you've even got hiking sticks there or they could be ski sticks or no sorry one of them's yeah I think they could be either and you've got a speedboat as well and then this one here so you can see dress him up you've got the wallet the chef's hat a nice suit jacket the front and the back of a football shirt you've got the watch there an apron trainers socks just a plain t-shirt baseball hat and then this one here I think it's going to be really good for maybe the teenagers because you've got the games console, the headphones, you've got the laptop, the TV, the mobile phone. Um, but I've also thrown in the little pub sign there. Um, you've got the beer and the, the wine and the bottles there. And then you've got lots of tools as well, which I'm looking forward to making some like toolboxes using my pop-up bouquets set. So again, look out for tutorials over on the Mater Surprise YouTube channel. And then lastly, I've got two more embossing folders. The embossing folders do really well. Try to keep them just nice, basic kind of patterns and designs that can be used across many occasions. So the wood grain would look really nice with florals on. And this is a chevron print, but it also looks really good as maybe like the track of a tire, the sole of a shoe. Um, so I tried to make sure there was something that would yeah, add a nice texture and other detail to the cards. So now I'm going to show you some lovely samples. So I've got this one here, which is showing the double concertina gatefold. So you can see all that detail on the front there. And then when you open it up, you have the double concertina there 
and to a great brother this one so i just wanted to show off the papers these are samples i will eventually use these and uh you know they will get appreciated and given to someone but um i just think it's nice to be able to see the papers there but you could have a piece of white card to write your message or maybe a photo of the person would look good you could have little photos in here and um yeah i've I've got a tutorial already showing you how to make this and you could also use this center part without these and it be like a little window and I'm thinking about Christmas scenes and maybe some of my fun animal characters and Santa kind of poking their heads out in the, the windows there I think that would look really cool and that all folds down like I said that's your six by six size I've then got this one here was just a simple idea on how to use the the winged pop-up so I've got this five by seven card just done a simple kind of decoration on the front which actually on its own is a nice card as well but when you open this one up you have the pop-up inside so have a fab day and then I've got the beers and the pub so if you know someone who loves to go to the pub this could be quite a nice card for them and you can see the papers and all that fun design then I've got that card doubled up and this card is actually over on the craft stash website you just slide off the belly band and then when you open it up, you have that showstopper, that doubled up version, um, this really fun card. Happy birthday, son. Again, you can have some photos of them on there if you wanted to. These are great as well if you've got maybe a work colleague and lots of people to sign it. You've got all that space. And then that all folds down, held together with the belly band. Cool dude. I think that's a really lovely keepsake style card. Then going back to the concertina style, if you want to... Um, you can score this. I talk you all through it in the tutorial. And then there's mats and layers that will fit this kind of version in the set as well. I've done this little belly wrap. And you can see I've added some of the stamped images on the front. The It's Your Birthday is actually from one of my other stamp sets. And then when you take this one out, you've got this concertina, like double, double concertina. Now, I did stamp the, the, the sentiment through the middle, which I like. And you can read it, but obviously you've got to be aware that you've got that bar running through the middle there. I think probably the sentiments are best kept on the sides here. Or if you've got small sentiments that fit in the squares. But if you've got my poems or the sentiments from my other showstopper collections they're going to fit quite nicely in these parts as well but you can see the lovely images there to a great guy have a fab day i think again that's a really fun style you can pop a little gift card in here and um yeah so that's another way to use it you can obviously have that folded like this as well so yeah i'm going to be playing around with these as i always do and creating other styles as well and then I've also got this one. I'm not going to show you them, them all because there are more. This one here is adding extra panels onto the winged um, pop-up. So this one here, when you open it up, you have this design. I just thought this was a lovely card to give to someone who's maybe won their football tournament or got into their local club. You did it. You rock. I think it's really, really fun. The number 13 is on there, but you can easily mask that off if you wanted to put someone else's number or maybe their name. Again, photos, things like that. I think it's really nice to personalise. So you can catch me live today over on the Craft Stash Facebook page at 12.30 GMT. All of that information will be linked below. You can find all of this product available on the Craft Stash website by clicking here. If you're not subscribed to my channel, make sure you click here because that way you'll see all the future tutorials of how these cards were made. But also you can see all my past collections and anything else I'm going to be sharing. And I'll also have the Showstopper playlist coming up here. If you want to see some of the other styles from other collections. Hope to see many of you later on today and I'll be back again very soon. Take care. Bye.